Hello everybody! This video will tell you how to create an image to restore the system on Windows 10. That is, to create a complete system image with all of its settings, applications, users, etc. As a result, you receive the conditional Windows 10 which existed at the time of creating a backup copy. With the help of this function, you can always get your system back to the previously saved condition. In order to create a, a Windows 10 system recovery image, go to the Start menu and click on Control Panel. Select the View option Large icons Then look for File History In the next window, click on System Image Backup and create a system image. Then choose the location where this backup copy should be saved. It can be an external hard disk, a DVD or a network folder. I'd like to note that you can create a Windows 10 Recover image on a flash drive only when this drive is recognized as a hard disk. Click Next. Select the disks to be uh, backed up. By default, they are the system disk, disk C, and EFI system partition. Click on Start Backup, and the process of creating a Windows 10 backup copy starts. Sometimes it can take up quite a long time. When it is over, you will be suggested to create a recovery drive. If you don't have it, and you don't have a boot disk or flash drive, and even don't have access to another PC, where you could create them quickly, then I recommend creating such drive. As I already have one, I will not create such recovery drive. In my case, I click No, and we can see a message that backup was successful. That is, a Windows 10 recovery image was created. In order to recover Windows 10 from a recovery image, you need to enter the system recover environment. You can do it right from the system. You should go to Start menu, Settings, Update and Security, Recovery, and click on Restart Now in the section Advanced Startup. If Windows 10 won't boot, you can get to the system recover environment with the help of a boot disk or a flash drive where, after selecting your keyboard layout, you should click on System Restore. Or you can do it with the help of a recovery drive. You can see how to create a recovery drive and use it to enter Windows 10 recovery environment in my video Resetting Windows 10, 8, 7 if your computer won't boot. I will show it with the example of a boot flash drive with Windows 10. Restart your computer, go to BIOS or UEFI, usually by pressing Delete for most PCs or F2 for most laptops. Set boot priority to let the computer boot from the USB, USB drive, in my case it is EFI USB device, and press Enter. In the next window, select the language we need, by default it is English, click Next, and then System Recovery. Now click on Troubleshoot. Advanced Options, System Image Recovery, and choose Windows 10 as the target system. Select Use the last available system image and click Next. After that, uh, the recovery process will start. If you only created an image for disk C and have not changed your partition structure ever since, there is no need to worry about the safety of your data on disk D or other disks. When the process is over, set the boot sequence in BIOS so that the hard disk comes first and boot Windows 10 in the same condition as it was saved to a backup copy. Thank you for your attention and good luck! If you like this video, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel.